In a plane EM wave, the electric field oscillates sinusoidally at a frequency of this much and amplitude this much. The total average energy density of the electromagnetic yeah. electromagnetic field is this. So, if you see here, it is what is mentioned is the electric field energy density is half epsilon at e square. <coughs> okay. Now, what is this e? Okay, and like here again, you know, the average is mentioned. So, therefore, you know, average is going to be like uh, like for example we have e is equal to e naught you know, sine of you know something okay so this e naught is the peak electric field okay so now when we have to find out the average energy density in electric field this is going to be half epsilon naught into you know, it's not E naught square, but it's E naught by root 2 whole square, which is basically, um, which is basically the RMS value of E. So, therefore, it is actually epsilon naught E naught square by 4. Okay. So, this is the average density in uh, electric field. Okay. Uh, since the electric field is not uniform in the case of electromagnetic wave you can see here it is you know the sinusoidal function so therefore it's not uniform now we have to find out the total average density okay uh, and uh, uh, so the total average density is going to be u b plus u e and all things in average so the average magnetic uh, and also like uh, since c equals e by b okay which is mentioned here so therefore we can find out u b is equal to like b square by 2 epsilon naught 2 mu naught so what is b b is e square mu naught epsilon naught by 2 mu naught so if you see it's half epsilon naught e square which is the same so therefore numerically equally numerically numerically both are actually equal okay ue and ub are both are equal so now the total average is going to be 2 into epsilon naught e square by 4 which is half epsilon naught into e square which is equal to half into epsilon naught is 8.85 into e square e is 50 and again it is 50 since everything is in standard unit so therefore like uh, this also is going to come in standard unit which is joule per meter cube so now it's uh, 8 into 2500 it's almost equal to 20000 so divided by 2 it's almost equal to 1000 okay so almost equal to 1000 in uh, certainly 10000 into 10 to the power because 8.85 10 to the power minus 12 is also there into 10 to the power minus 12 so this is going to be around 1 into 10 to the power minus 12 now since this 0.85 is also there so therefore it's going to be a little ahead of it so therefore a is going to be the answer